what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the 22nd September build of this KCUF ROM on this device and I did a previous video on this and if you don't know how to flash this ROM right now let me tell you that on the latest build you just have to flash the ROM file you don't need any magic file like you used to for the first build so this is a uh, like later build so there is no like magic file needed let me show you the settings panel over here if you go about and if you go android version section here you will see the android version is 10 let me go back the security patch is latest september 5th 2019 and the play system updates like version over here 10 and the stock kernel is perf dirty kernel over here somehow and this build number you can see this is the 22nd september 2019 build so this is the latest build of this like rom file and i did flash it with the latest developer recovery which is needed for like flashing this android 10 based roms and i'll link it below use that wrp only to flash this rom it's like recommended over here and i did not need any g apps or something it's included on the rom so play stores and stuff like google services working fine over here no issues and you can see the animations let me go into the settings again and here one thing you get which you we're not getting on the like first build is the personalization this is kind of a customization section we are moving into over here let me show you some features are of course missing and there are no double tap to sleep and stuff yet even on the status bar or be it in the home screen there is no double tap to sleep and the stock launcher over here is still pixel launcher as you can see pretty simplistic like you can't really swipe down anywhere to get to the quick settings panel you have to swipe down from like top let me go to this customization section again and if you go into status bar we have traffic indicator right now it does work fine and let me go back the status bar items are there but there is no vaulty icon which i am like noticing i don't have a sim card in it right now so i don't know about like vaulty but the vaulty should be working fine it was working on the first build so no issues and into quick settings there is vibrate on toggle touch then we have the quick toggle animation i think the flip and rotate animation then we have the animation duration and then we have the tiles animation interpolator you can choose it to be linear accelerate decelerate and like these kind of like stuff over here let me go back inside buttons you will see only volume rockers right now we have the play back control volume rocker wake and stuff let me go back we have the navigation bar settings which is totally blank over here let me go back i think it will be like seeing it whenever you are like using maybe the navigation bar over here but i don't know let me go into gestures we have the screen of power button torch but it simply does not work let me show you as you can see let me lock the device again and wait for a little bit and now if i try to hold the power button so as you can see it does not turn on the tor torch yet so not all features are really working let me go back and inside lock screen we have the lock screen charging info and let's go into the power menu section it is totally blank over here but let me show you the power menu over here we have the power of restart and advanced reboot as well well if you tap on this advanced reboot it will directly boot into recovery right now there is no like other options over here to boot into fast boot and stuff it will straight up boot into like recovery so that's a good thing over here and inside recent apps it's totally blank again then we have notification section where heads up you can disable it and vibrate on call connect and stuff is there then we have misc we have the wake up on charge yes you can disable it and inside display settings let me show you there is still double tap to wake but no double tap to sleep settings over here in the display night light let me show you as you can see it does work right now so that's good that it is working but no double tap to sleep here at all and in the display settings dark theme is there as you can see you can enable this the dark theme and if you want to have the accent colors let me show you if you enable developer options and go over this developer options here if you scroll down you will have this accent colors and you can choose it to green and stuff it was already there in the like first build too i guess so accent color like you can choose it from here and inside gestures we still get these kind of navigation gestures where you get the android q or android 10 based gesture and the gesture navigation where you just like swipe up like this to go to home and stuff then we have two button and three button navigation and in the system update section of course there is no updater right now over here let me open some of the apps and show you guys how is the app of speeds over here and also let me talk about it i did download this latest pixel experience rom i'm gonna flash it in the next video 
so do wait for that how to flash this pixel experience based on android 10 on redmi note 5 pro it will be coming soon on the channel and as you can see the ram management is not bad all the apps do stay in memory and you can see the like animations over here the animations are really really great no issues whatsoever regarding the app open up animations and all the apps do stay in memory so i don't see any issue about this like app open up animations or like keeping apps in memory one thing to note that there is no stock camera app over here like no default camera you will be present in this rom so i what i did i installed google camera and this is just a apk i'll link it below this is actually for redmi note 7 pro but here it's working fine too and i enabled the like if you go into about of this gcam i enabled this advanced mode over here and i did nothing else over here i think but this google camera does work fine as this is android q like optimized it will process the hdr photos pretty fine as you can see it's taking a little bit of time but it should be processing the photos fine as you can see right now it's processed and pictures are like taking fine no issues whatsoever and night sight and stuff i did test it too night sight let me like take a picture it takes a little bit of time but the night sight pictures does come out to be really good not bad at all let me show you it's still processing processing is done so i would say it's a working google camera no issues i'll link it below too if you need it otherwise this rom is great it's smooth enough for daily driving i think if you guys want to try it definitely like let me know in the comments if you are really willing to try it and we have the google now cards and stuff to the left then the volume like stuff you can get it over here as you can see and talking about pubg let me show you which settings you get in pubg so if you are a gamer i think i won't recommend you because in pubg you will only see the smooth and medium settings then if you go balanced you will only have medium and the hd option is simply not available so not a lot of like graphic settings we get over here pretty basic we get only smooth and medium so that's how it is over here right now let me go home like this and we get all the features like in the lock screen let me show you that there is the weather stuff over here in the lock screen this is how it looks like and the unlocking animation looks really great and here is the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed over here sometimes it just like takes a little bit of time after unlock like locking the device as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad at all it's quite fast i think the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty decent not bad at all now if you're in the lock screen and if you just swipe from the right you will get the google assistant what's the weather like right now in Bapura, it's 27 degrees celsius and cloudy so you can access the google assistant even without unlocking the device so that's a really great thing but one thing that i see over here let me show you by going somewhere like if i have the keyboard over here if like i want to go back and i try to swipe from this side the keyboard just like keeps typing something it just doesn't work the swiping doesn't work i have to do it from top over here as you can see to go back like this so that's one thing that i have noticed over here it's kind of annoying but yeah that's how it is but let me know in the comments if you guys want to really try this rom if you want to try the pixel experience rom do wait for the next video thank you so much for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now